Hi guys, welcome back. So I said I would do a haul in my first ever vlog, which was my previous video, and I had really good feedback from that, apart from the little bit of Harry Potter hating. I was a tired, grumpy girl, what can I say? So I, I said I'd do a haul um, to show you guys what I got when I was in London. It's actually not a lot, which is very strange for me. Like normally I just pick up literally everything. And I just picked up a few makeup bits and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I could have gone a bit more crazy, but I thought to myself, do you know what, it's getting towards the end of the month, got petrol to put in your car, so I made the conscious decision to do that. So I'll show you guys what I got. First of all, I headed straight down to Selfridges. That was my main mission in life, to get into the Selfridges beauty hall. And literally, if I'd have died right there and then, I'd have been a happy, happy girl because it's just incredible in there. Like, there's just so many amazing counters and so many amazing things going on and it's just a really, really nice atmosphere. So I bought a few things while I was there and I mainly headed towards Charlotte Tilbury because I hadn't tried any of her stuff before and I'd had quite a few recommendations but we don't really have like a counter up north, except I found out later that we do actually have a new one opened in Harvey Nicks in Leeds, so I'll be heading there from now on. So I picked up three things. Um, I could have gone a bit like crazy and got a few more, um, but I thought, no, I'll just stick with three. And they were probably the main things that I was recommended and then just sort of go from there. So um, the first thing I got was one of the um, luxury palettes, which I absolutely love the packaging because it's like, a sort of dark brown with like rose gold and yeah I'll never love a bit of rose gold and I just think the packaging is absolutely beautiful and I got the shade Vintage Vamp which probably wasn't the obvious one for me like um, Dolce Vita is probably the most popular one um, which had amazing colours and I probably will get that at some point but I kind of wanted something a little bit different and I'm wearing it today and it's probably more like purples and golds like a really nice shade so you've you kind of got like four here and the, the packaging is absolutely stunning and it's probably like shining everywhere <laughs> but you start off with like a base colour which is kind of like a mix between like a champagne with a slightly bluey kind of lilac-y tone and then you've got this next shade here which is kind of like a ready toned sort of brown and um, with a bit of sheen like it's probably a little bit more matte than the others and then you get this top shade here which is probably a bit more purple with it kind of like these really finely milled sort of specks in them that are just really pretty and then you get a one for like pop and this is kind of like a rose goldy shade that just sort of adds a bit of sort of glitter and a bit of sheen and pop to the eyes and I just absolutely love this palette it's absolutely beautiful Um, they are £38 which is quite expensive for four eyeshadows but I kind of think thought of it in terms of well Tom Ford do their eyeshadow quads and they look insanely amazing like they look just as good as these ones but they're £68 so you're actually doing like a £30 saving that's kind of how I'm justifying it which is probably not good because you know I kind of want them all now um, and I think they just make like a really nice Christmas gift as well because let's be honest it's September won't be long now then I got two products from Charlotte Tilbury and the first thing is the Lip Chi, uh, which is a reshape and resize lip liner in Pillow Talk, which just looks like a regular bog standard, you know, lip liner. But I'm going to insert a, a picture of like me doing like half my lip and the other half bare, and you'll see the difference it makes to your lips. Like, just looks so much fuller, and it's just like I can't quite explain how good this product is. And I heard Amelia um, from Amelia Liana going on about this so much, so I kind of thought. I need to pick this one up and it's just like a sort of nudie pinky shade that's kind of like very natural very sort of lip coloured so it enhances it really well and then for lipstick I got one <laughs> I'm sorry but this one sounded amazing and it just had me all written all over it it says bitch perfect which I just think is just such a good name but the packaging is again rose gold and just so classic and slightly edgy at the same time like the packaging so much thought has gone into that and it's just absolutely beautiful so it's kind of just like a peachy sort of nude shade. It's um, probably like a satin finish. I'm wearing it today and it just makes my lips look really full and complements Pillow Talk so well. And I think I'll be getting some more of these um, lipsticks because I just think they're absolutely beautiful. I just feel really comfortable on the lips, really long lasting. And yeah, they've got some new matte ones that have come out. 
and I feel like I need to have a little look at those. I had a little glance but I thought no I only want one lipstick so you've picked the one you wanted Kate so don't actually go and pick any more up because you will regret it. <laughs> a funny story about the counter actually, the girls were all really really lovely um, and I was, I was queuing and there was this lady there and um, she'd had all her makeup done and it just looked really nice and I was kind of like admiring it, sort of doing a cheeky little side glance and her mum was there and her mum was like oh what do you think of her makeup and I said oh it looks really really good they've done a really nice job and she said oh they've done a really good job of yours too and I was like I did my makeup this and, morning and like my eyeliner was so bad like I had to go to Illa Masked to get it sorted out um, and I was like oh no um this is my I did this she was like with these products I was like no I was like no but I'm gonna buy some like I've got a few to buy um and she was like, oh, okay, and I thought, oh god, she's going to tell her daughter not to buy these products and to go buy whatever's on my face. So I could have had a bit of a crisis there where, you know, mums get involved and say, oh, well, don't they have that in boots and it's a bit cheaper, but no, the girl was buying, like, absolutely loads of stuff and she looked really good, so there you go. Then I literally went round, like, every single counter, just had a little swatch fest. Like when I do swatches I do like huge like lines on my, uh, my hand and then I have to like wipe it off. Other people are a bit more methodical in it like there's no method in my madness I can tell you that for stars. So I was looking over the matte counter and I don't really need any eyeshadows like, like you'll see from this video I've got loads of eyeshadows and I don't really need any lipsticks because I have so many lipsticks. So I was kind of looking and I was like little I always look at the lipsticks anyway and then I saw one of the sales assistants and she had the most amazing matte purple lip on and I was like I think that's heroin, I think it is. So I kind of ended up buying that. <laughs> so it's not usually my colour because it's just so ridiculously purple, like on when this comes out of the bullet it's actually much brighter. It's like a very obviously wintry autumny shade but it's kind of like you could do like a really f like bare eye with eyeliner, lashes, some brows obviously, a bit of contour and those lips, oh would look amazing. So I'm going to test this out at some point. Um, I've tried it a little bit and I feel like it's like worth. Then I went into good old boots on Oxford Street, like the huge one because yeah you've just got to go to boots haven't you on your little trip. And these were kind of all just like repurchases so nothing majorly exciting here. So the first thing was Bourjois had buy one get one half price so I picked up my favourite mascara of the moment which is the volume one second mascara love this stuff I had a tube um, of it and it's pretty much all gone so I popped this straight in my basket needed it it's just I'll link my post down below because it's so good then I picked up a powder and I can like I need powder but I begrudge buying it because it's so boring but I picked up the healthy balance powder and this is in the shade 52 vanilla and it's just like a sort of really nice powder that adds keeps sort of radiance to the skin and doesn't make you look flat but covers and doesn't leave it cakey or anything I've got a link down below for a blog post as well and I just I have used that like years ago and sort of refound it anyway <laughs> and then the next thing I bought was from Bumble and Bumble because I'd run out of my favourite um, thickening dry spun finish which there are loads of dry texturising sprays out there, they've got the Charles Worthington one, you've got the VO5 one, you've got the Orbe one and you know I've tried the cheap ones, I've tried the Orbe one, it's really expensive but the Bumble and Bumble one for me is just incredible and um, it doesn't leave sort of really horrible gritty texture in your hair, it just you know like it doesn't like clog up or anything like that, it just adds a really nice airy texture that just gives really nice volume and that like finishing touch to your hair. Um, and I just really really like it and I had a massive full size one I think this is a 150ml and I had it for like three or four months I used it pretty much every day so I definitely think it was worth the money so I picked it up again and then finally I took a little trip to Superdrug which isn't really my like Superdrug I think it's mainly because I don't understand their like reward card like it makes no sense to me <laughs> so I kind of skip it but they have um sort of brands in there that you don't really get in boots and the first thing I picked up was from Collection because I'd heard quite a lot of good things about this palette and it's the Little Mix Love All About The Eyes palette which was £2.50, it was on some sort of sale or something, I haven't tried it or anything yet but how nice are those colours and they just seems to be just a really nice go to travel palette that's going to be really nice so I might take this on holiday with me, I'll see what the pigmentation's like but um, yeah I'll definitely be doing a review of that on my blog. 
And then I got another palette which is just stupid because I have about 50 million palettes. Ugh. Anyway, this is from Makeup Revolution and this is one of their Ultra Eyeshadows palette and this is the flawless one. And I've made it a bit messy already. It's got 32 eyeshadows in it and oh, don't mind my Arsenal shirt in the background, I'll be wearing that later. Um, and it's just got so many different mattes, shimmer, like cool tone, warm tone. Um, you know, there's a shade ever light and dark. It's so, such a lovely palette and it was only eight pounds and I've tried Makeup Revolution stuff before. They sent me a few things to review and I've been really, really impressed with them because they're really affordable. Like the cheapest palettes, like four pounds, the ones that are like the um, naked palettes and the pigmentation and everything like it's really creamy buttery eyeshadows that you just love like the the best eyeshadows you can get and such a good price and they don't fall down they last really well like these are such good eyeshadows they just I have to rave about them a little bit more so I will be doing a post on this as well at some point so that's everything that I bought in London which wasn't a great deal I bought a top from River Island but it's just one of those um, cami tops with the like slip bits that I wear in literally every video apart from today so I got a grey one of those so you don't really need to see that because it's in the wash but anyway yeah so I'll be if I haven't already reviewed stuff I'll be reviewing them at some point on my blog which again I'll link again, down I'll link below up. and I've just hit 1700 subscribers on my blog which is amazing and I've been working so hard on it for two years as I have my YouTube and it's, everything seems to be growing really nicely and yeah, once I get to 2,000 subscribers on my blog, I will be doing a huge giveaway. And again, I'll be doing the same on my YouTube channel. So if they end up being at the same time, then I can sort of split everything. If not, I'll probably have to like do two different giveaways, but there's no harm in that. So yeah, I'll stop wittering on now. You can go for that toilet break because this has probably been going on for ages. So I'll see you guys in my next video. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe using the button below. And I will see you guys. Yeah, I've already said that. Shut up. <laughs> right, okay. Bye.